Welcome to the Artist Loft, the talk show for all artists. Join us each show as we spotlight a variety of different creatives, hosted by the Florida Arts Network with Richard Sosa and Frank A. Raffolo. Hey, happy Hi, Halloween. everybody. Happy Halloween. Well, not too happy for this Bad fellow guy. over here. Yeah, he tried serving me cold pizza. Uh, Didn't work out very well for nope. him. So here, tell you what, just you can just hang out right down there. All right. So how's everybody doing? We're here with another episode of the Artist Loft. Uh, we are an arm of Florida Arts Network. Uh, we are a 501c3. And uh, our goal is to uh, reintroduce kids to the arts um, and to uh, promote the people that are creating it. Yeah. And um, we have a, a, a third goal, which we're going to be talking about a little bit today with our, with our next guest. Uh, but uh, visit us on our website, uh, floridaartsnetwork.org and uh, see how you can help. Uh, yep. And remember, we are a 501c3, so any donations are tax, tax deductible. deductible. So write a check. Yep, we're coming toward the end of the year. You know, all you people that are looking for uh, those uh, tax deductions, hey, we'll be more than happy to, uh, right. to help you out. And if you want to be a sponsor on our show, contact us on our website, and advertising rates start at $75. Yep, and if you need uh, commercial done, any uh, editing, that kind of thing. Or any videos, uh, work done, yeah. let us know. Yeah, we can help you with that as well. So, all right, so without any further ado, uh, let's introduce our, our guest for today, Diane Glickman. Diane, how are you? The lady in blue. Yes. Well, I'm going to get my mic since I'm not used to doing these things. Yes, yeah, there you go. Yeah, just, yeah. Just get used closer. to them. Don't. Should I hear myself? No. No. no okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Yes. <laughs> so I, I met Diane uh, so, some time ago at a networking event. And this is, this is why I tell all my acting students, you know, you got you to gotta network, 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 because you never know who you're going to meet. And now I can't seem to get away from this woman. You know, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I have that effect on people. I forgot <laughs> yes. to mention that to you. <laughs> Richard, I'm sorry. But the great news about what Richard is talking about is networking is the number one, number one yep. thing you can do for a successful relationship with yes. anything you do in business. Mm -hmm. Whether you utilize that resource or not, it's always in your pocket, just like a good business card. Yeah, ab absolutely. And networking is so much more than just, you know, oh, here's my business card, give me your business card. It's all about developing relationships. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and business is relationships. Yeah. And I'm, I'm big on developing relationships. Um, but let's getting to what we're going to do together, right? Mm, I'm so and excited. I know it is. It's, it's really exciting. Because uh, any, uh, those of you who have watched the show for some time know that Frank and I have a script on human trafficking, right? And which will be developed at, at some point, probably some, uh, hopefully sometime yeah, next year, next year sometime. We, can, we can get this done, right? But um, Florida Arts Network is kind of taking it a step further thanks to Diane's vision and what she wants to do to help victims of... Uh, domestic abuse and human trafficking. And Diane, why don't you? Why it's you talk victims a bit of it? any and all kinds of abuse. And yeah. I always tell people, abuse is abuse, no matter what kind of abuse yeah. it is, whether it's abuse of power or abuse in the bedroom. Yeah. And I, I love to say, from the bedroom to the government, yeah. is what we have a problem with. Yeah. We have so many resources as this beautiful country allows us to get, have, and utilize, unfortunately, taking away also the information of how to utilize them, yeah. where to get them. And we have amazing organizations, and that's a big part of what Queen Courage is going to be doing, uh, teaching and helping and guiding organizations to self-sustain themselves, being that we're going to be the strong arm for them 
and giving them the ability to grow their organizations based on the resources they never even in some cases knew they should have. Yeah. Yeah, and and some of those some of those resources like specifically talking about, you know, victims of of abuse, um, I I love your your vision. Like you don't want to put them in oh, what are they what do they call these rescue Places, um, halfway houses, or whatever yeah, you want to call them, houses and stuff like that. Shelters are yes, called, shelters, Richard. Yes, that's, God that's forbid anyone for. should go to one. Yeah, you you want to develop a resort style in yes. environment to help absolutely transfer them from victim because to the survivor. transition that a victim needs to go through to get to that status of a survivor. Mm -hmm. It needs to be uplifting. It needs to give you hope. It needs to give you encouragement. So you see the light at the end of the tunnel. And the biggest problem with victims staying in the environment of abuse is they have nowhere to go. Yeah. Everything is Band-Aids. And they go to a shelter. My God, they run back to the abusive household or the abusive situation because at least that abuse they're familiar with. Yes. Yeah, which gives rise to Stockholm Syndrome right. and a lot of other things. PTSD, and I mean, we yeah. can name hundreds of them. Yeah, absolutely. But there's so many, and I'm wearing my glasses just to look smarter. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't but, helped me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe but you're wearing maybe the crown. crown. I forgot my crown at home. Yeah, Richard. I know, right? I look like Jughead, you know, from yeah. the Archie comics. <laughs> The biggest, the biggest thing that we can do is, uh, again, as we were talking before the show, is to remind ourselves and people around us that we live in this beautiful country, which my parents immigrated to when I was still a child, mm -hmm. that gives us the ability to get the resources we need to build a better, bigger world. Oh, yeah. Instead of that, we've become the me movement of our country. Yeah. And that me movement is inspired by certain people in certain positions to keep us controlled where we forget the resources we have or in some cases don't even know because that education was taken away from us too. Yeah. And one of the one of the biggest resources that we can use to help these people is the arts. There you go. And and when I remember when you first told me about that your your vision using uh, Florida Arts Network and, and the resources that we have to help these people. I was like, well, it's amazing. What better therapy is there for a person that went through an abusive cycle in their lifetime? What better way to actually rejuvenate yourself, your mind, your body, your soul, than to see the future through the arts? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And find that inspiration, whether you want to draw the arts, whether you want to make the arts, whether you want to be a part of uh, some kind of, you know, TV studio, uh, movies, anything. Yeah. And with the proper support from a victim that's transitioning to a um, survivor, these people's opportunities are endless. Oh, yeah. And if we have the resources that we can provide for them, being that they're lacking those resources, all we do is make sure that they know what's available to them, support yeah. them legally, financially, in some ways, you know, get a roof over our head. One of the biggest problems in our country, as most of us know, we have people that are living in the streets now, living on the beaches here in Florida. Oh, yes, yeah. the beaches are beautiful when you come out in the morning and you walk on your beach to see the sunrise. Not to see a veteran there living oh. there because oh, he crazy. does not even have a home. Yeah. Now, yeah. not that he can't afford a home, not that he can't get a job, but it's very hard to get a job when you live in a shelter. Yeah. yeah. And the shelters are not very friendly for jobs either, as I find out recently. Three o'clock, you have to go in and take, can I say piss test on TV? On you say what? Piss test. Oh, well, it's just, well, <laughs> this, kids watch it too, so. <laughs> the wee test, the wee test. Oh. What job are you going to get in half where you have to leave somewhere at two o'clock to get to a shelter? 
oh, at yeah. three o'clock to do this test. Oh yeah. I mean, what yeah, is yeah. the government thinking? What what are the people in charge the of government's this thinking? Not thinking? Yeah. Meanwhile, we have a great amount of money in our country to actually help that. But oh, unfortunately, yeah. not being utilized in the right way as a lot of other things. Yeah, and, and so if they're in a, a re, more of a resort-style environment, they have more freedom, right? So they, they can come, come and go at a, like, oh, I work until it's 5 o'clock, like, you know, I can't yes, leave early. Yes. You know, no, no, no problem if, if they have to take a test or something like that. And they get respected. Yes, ab absolutely. And they have an address. Yeah. And they have the ability to make decisions for themselves. And, yeah. and on the premises, we're going to have counseling. Yeah. That will help them with PTSD. Another big thing about courage, there's a big opportunity zone for survivors. When you're in your survivor status, you can actually work in the resorts. You can actually look, work with our JV partners. We actually are going to help you do whatever you want, whether you want to promote a product that you have, whether you want to open up a business that you wanted to, given multiple opportunities for that. Yeah. That has a lot to do with projects and um, projects like yours. Yeah. That are going to be working with us to give the promotion, the ability, and the support that these people need. When they're in survivor status, there's nothing that they can't do. Yeah. And they're stronger than any other human being walking on earth because they've been through a lot and they're ready to shine. Yeah. With the proper support, that's what we want to see. We want to see that glow. Yeah, it's like when you break a bone and it yeah. mends. You know that that part is stronger than the rest exactly. of the bone. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, and and there's so many, so many genres of the arts. I'm going to take this thing. Off. <laughs> I'll put it on this guy well, over I'm here. Even, I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to um, go further than that. The genres of the arts, correct. But let's say we're talking um, about the the veterans. Mm -hmm. The veterans community can have a job here right now being a guard. Oh, yeah. And people don't understand the kind of opportunities each one of us is able to provide for a person that's off the street, that has a roof over their head, is ready, willing, and able to work for what they have. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and we, we need to try and give them as many opportunities as we can. We need to help them. We need to help them heal. We need to help them heal. And a permanent address gives them a sense of importance. Yeah. Of course. Oh, and a really respectful is. job is and all they it, want. That's all they want. The it's biggest that. problem with veterans and the services they provide to the veterans are they don't like handouts. They yeah. can take pride in themselves when they take handouts. And that's why a lot of them you see on the street. The VA hospitals are definitely not doing the job they're being paid for. No, no, they're not. So what is being you? What is that money being utilized yeah. on? Yeah, I have family that, that veterans there that you go. utilize the VA and they're like, it's... And it's, part of the horrible. biggest thing that we're going to be working with in Queen for Courage is giving the opportunity for people to realize how the American system works, how it should be working. Yeah. Why people immigrate here and want to live here other than any other country as the, in the world where there are so many beautiful countries out there. Yeah. But the yeah. opportunities in America to build an American dream are it, endless. It gives them a place in society because right now all those people that are out in the street don't feel like they're part of society. They just feel like of they're... Course. Yeah, they feel like they're a scourge on, the on society. Yeah. And, and, it's a, and it's a shame. It's just, I, 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 I encounter a couple of homeless people on my way into work every once in a while. And, you know, when they see me, hey, darling, how yeah. are you? I'm like, hey, how's it going? How you doing? You know, try and give them, you know, whatever I can. But, um, I mean, these are, these are people. These are These are people beings. who we need to thank for having the freedom to even sit in the studio today. They fought for this freedom we have. Oh, yeah. And they're being neglected like no other yeah now if we can't respect the people that brought us and forth for our freedom what does that say for us yeah yeah and 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 help them and i know i keep going back to the arts because i mean yeah that's our thing right 
but there it it can be so helpful to to these people and help them find a, a, a creative outlet um, like the when we had uh, Gianni yes. on she on the they show did it through dance yeah she did it through through dance um, I've I've had uh, I've worked with a lot of uh, teens in in my acting classes and stuff like that and I can't tell you how many of them have been you know victims of some kind of abuse and they work it out through through acting creating yeah you know or through art yeah, you know they're painting canvas. or writing or writing a, writing a poem or writing a story yeah I, I, well, my story sometimes get dark what do the psychologists do most of the time with abused kids they give them you know piece of paper, markers, and yeah. they start drawing their problems. Yeah. It's a lot easier to get your problems out in a drawing than it is to even talk about it. In oh, some cases yes. for adults too. Oh yeah, N absolutely. Not only that, but the therapy in itself, where you see and you can take pride in creating something out of what hurts you and use that horrible experience Turn it into power. Yeah. That's something more powerful than anything in the world. That's the kind of therapy we have to focus on. Unfortunately, again, a lot of the times, most of the time nowadays, what happens is you go to a doctor, uh, we'll give you some antidepressants, then they start self-medicating, and then there's another victim of another yeah, kind of Of another abuse. problem, absolutely. But it's all abuse. Yeah. Whether it's the government or the doctors or the husbands or the wives, it's all kinds of abuse. Yeah. And we've gotten so accustomed to living with abuse yeah. and band-aiding that abuse. Oh, we yeah. forgot the formula isn't the natural items that we forget to even talk about. Yeah. The arts, creativity, oh, giving yeah. people the opportunity either to be a part of it or around it. Yeah. Just that in itself is therapy. Oh, yeah. absolutely. We can and continue with more with that, but right yeah. now we have to We're take taking a, a commercial break. break. It's a little bit different this time around. Uh, we'll, we'll talk very briefly about uh, what you're going to see in just a moment. Frank A. Raffolo, a renowned author and screenwriter known for his books such as 10048, Blue Falcon, Memoir of a Soldier, and his latest, Samuel of Sarah. Check out his website, frankarafolo.com, for more info or purchase his books on Amazon. You got a job. Who is he? Chandler Preston. He's supposed to have an office on the west side. Let's go. We're looking for 210. There's no numbers. Hang it up. Honey, I gotta go. So you like sleeping with other people's wives, huh? Okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but look, I swear, I don't know any Captain Carlucci. Oh, hell, hey, you were supposed to shoot him in the chest. It's okay. I know. You can't just leave it out. You get it. Oh my god. What are they feeding this kid? Here, what are we gonna do? What do you mean, what are we gonna do? You gotta change him. I gotta change him? Yeah. Okay, so here's the plan. You're gonna get out. Walk up to the house and make sure the coast is clear. What if it isn't clear? Uh, I'm not comfortable whacking our own guy. You moron, we're not gonna whack our own guys. What are you two different doing here anyway? You first thing happen to see Kiki in some other beach here. No. I feel it's something you thought. She don't go nowhere without coming to you. So now, I'm sure. But. What did I do? Why don't we go out and find her for you? Yeah, and? Where the hell are we gonna find her? Scores. Scores? The strip club? Candy works there. We don't have time to stop for a lap dance from Dandy Candy. Right? Candy is Kiki's best friend. Oh, yes. 
and women always talk. Not for you, for your friend. It looks like he's gonna need it. There she is. Yeah, boss. Please stop, don't do this! Yeah, that's how you take care of business. Let's get her back home to the boss, Nathan. Okay? Boss wants her dead. I'm telling you, Carlo, can't disobey the boss's order. But well, we're good at this time. Do you two have any idea what you've done? What the hell is wrong with you? You want Carmine Jr. to grow up without a mother? I'm a very disappointed with you, boys. Halo is so recreatable. You just couldn't stay in the car, could you? Oh, not this time. This is Carmine Jr.? What the hell are we gonna do? You can't put a baby in the trunk. What are you doing? Putting it in the GPS. Hey! You want another shovel for the head? I was standing right behind him. He could have went through it. Ah, it's a 22. What if you missed? I never missed. Must have got hit harder than I thought. No more shooting for you today. You lost your gun privileges. How the hell did you survive being a hitman so long? Well, I'm a very good shot. I'm pretty much devoid of a conscience. Bring me a strip is gonna make me hate the fact that I've never heard of you. We're back. Yes, we are back. Okay, so uh, those two things that, that, uh, that you just saw, the first one was a film by a friend of ours, Anthony Galicia, uh, called The Hitmen, that premiered last night. We went to the premiere. Uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And the second is, the f is FLIF, Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival, which starts uh, Friday of next week. So if you, wanna, if you want some more information, you want to get tickets for any of the events, fliff.com. All right. And so we are back with Diane. The Hold lovely a couple of minutes. Diane. Yes. Yeah, I, I know. All right. So we got to wrap this up, kids. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, no chance of that with me. I, <laughs> I know. Between you and me, forget it. I know. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be on here for, forever. Thank God people don't know how we are on the phone. Oh, my gosh, I know. But uh, I'm, I, I'll tell you, Diane, I'm, I'm really excited about a uh, uh, fan working with you on, on, on that and helping, helping these people because... Uh, I, I know from personal experience how therapeutic the arts can be. In, in my case, you know, I had three different, three different channels. I had, you know, acting, writing, and music. So, well, the programs that you are actually bringing to the foundation, them and themselves, every part of how that's going to affect from the fundraising part of it, to the ability to treat victims, to the ability of having them grow and learn about the world of art. Art is not just looking at a picture. 
art is not just sitting in a studio. There's so much and so much for somebody to grab onto, which another quick topic I want to, unfortunately, it has to be quick, but it's a very big thing we're seeing right now. One of the things that the foundation is going to be addressing, which is fentanyl poisoning. Oh, yes. yes. Right now, the biggest problem with that, people don't even understand that it's not an overdose. It's a poison. Mm -hmm. Why I think where it really starts when we have these kids experimenting with street drugs and thinking they're buying one thing, but given, given something else that yeah. has the poisoning, you know, fentanyl on it. That's because their minds and their time is not consumed with the programs that we're going to have there for them. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't take a whole lot of fentanyl to, I mean, you know, something the size of your fingernail can kill an elf. Uh, or something, yeah, less you know? than that, a yeah. tip of a pencil. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. In fact, the, the film that, that we're doing, Medicine Game, uh, we want to incorporate that. That's, in, you know, some yeah, that's something I wanted you to tell everybody because uh, supporting that film alone is going to be such a big opportunity to actually get people to understand the real problem here. Yeah. So, Linda, how can the people get in touch with your foundation? Where can they get in touch with you? Oh, they and can do you have, get in touch with us any, online. You know, do you have any uh, events or anything coming oh, up? Oh, we have an event about? coming up, and that's going to be on our website. That's going to be on all our social media for everybody to see. November 11th. I think it's right? something like November 11th or yeah. 12th. I'm not good. Yeah. The back office takes care of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the everybody that needs to be there that wants to be there we invite everybody everyone will have an invitation um what i want to do which has never been done before at the event the people that are going to be donating a lot of them are going to fly in a lot of them are not able to fly in but the seats they buy will be sponsored for the people that are going to have the opportunity to be an event like that, network with other people, get opportunity to meet people like you guys. Yeah. We have I mean, how many we people do we know that has no connection in the art world and the film world and in your industries that might interest you and oh, yeah. be that guy that you're looking for when yeah. you're doing what you do like best? Like the one that you showed me earlier before. There the show. you go. There yeah. you go. We have a performing artist that wants to said he would donate his time. So we need to put Linda in touch with Michael, uh, Michael Israel. Oh, yeah, the, the artist. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Frankie Barbato. You ever Barbado. heard of Michael Israel? He's a performing artist. What he does is they play music, and he goes on stage, mm -hmm. and within five minutes, he's got a painting. And he paints it. Wow. And you don't know what, you don't know what he's going to paint. That's until an artist. And he flips it itself. upside down. <laughs> and then he flips it upside down, and you got a painting. Yeah. Well, you know, the unfortunate thing is right now there's only a few of us that understand the responsibility that the big guy upstairs gave us yeah and the opportunity he gave us to execute that responsibility and know what we need to do to provide that to people yeah i am not a church going or i'm not i'm not i don't go to synagogues you know my religion sits next to me in the car yeah. my faith my religion my god uh I don't hold anybody against whatever they believe in, but we're all walking on the same, under the same sky. Yeah. We all are each other's friends. Yeah. We're all each other's neighbors. Yeah. Right now, this is our time to shine and shine for not just us, for other people that we can bring this opportunity to bring so much of our knowledge, of our resources, that we have been through a lot for, that we have worked very hard for. And to give that opportunity to people that don't have the ability to sit in the rooms that we sit in, to meet and know the people that we have the opportunity to know. Oh, absolutely. That's gonna be something in itself, yeah. which is a big thing thanks to you guys. You're one of the people, two of the people, yeah. that I can honestly say I'm proud to bring a young artist to, to get to meet you, to That's have an opportunity to even talk to you, yeah. 
to become a part of this world because first they have to convince themselves that they can do it. Yeah. And to be able to meet someone in that world right away, that's already that light that they want to see at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. That gives them that hope to try as hard as they can and then be an example to the next person yes. that they're an example yes. for. Pay it forward. Pay it forward, exactly. Pay it forward. Yeah, see, I, I, I wish this guy over here would have appreciated that a little bit more. He didn't pay it forward. If he had, you know, he wouldn't be in the situation that he's in right now. There he you just go. lost his head over the Yeah. <laughs> and all with a slice of pizza. <laughs> and all with a slice of, all over a all slice of pizza. pizza. Yeah, yeah, see? Uh, poor guy. All right. We are, unfortunately, out of time. Uh, but, Diane, thank you so, so much for being on the show. And thank both of you. we've got so much work to do. We really do. And I'm, I'm glad we're going to yes. be doing it together. Yes. And we're going to have fun doing it. And yes. we're going to save and change a lot of lives. Yep. See? You hear that? Yeah. yeah. Could have had fun. Yeah. But we no. could have saved no. his, but I think you it's tried a little to give him pineapple fun. pizza. <laughs> hey, I like pineapple. It was just cold. I like pineapple on pizza. Don't judge. I'm you are sorry. such a Floridian, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've become one, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, Diane, thanks again for being on the show. Thank you both. Thank you both for the All invitation. All right. So, FloridaArtsNetwork.org. Visit us. We've got a, a whole list of all the different ways that, that you can help. Um, and, and really think about donating to yep. us. Write a check. Yeah. Send, sign send, it. send us a check, you know, uh, GoFundMe, uh, Zelle, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, uh, your gifts are tax deductible. And, you know, we are coming up to the end of the year, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, looking for those tax deductions. So please think of us and, and the kids and, and the people that we want to help. All right, guys, we will see you again. Oh, quick reminder, uh, we, will, we will not have a show on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Day because uh, everybody's going to be asleep from all the turkey that they're eating, all that tryptophan. So we are having a, a one-hour one special the two weeks before. before. All right, so keep, keep that in mind. And until next time... Ciao. Thank you for watching The Artist Love. Make sure to tune in next time for another great show. A show that was produced by Ant Media Productions and hosted by the Florida Arts Network with your hosts, Richard Sosa and Frank A. Ripolo.